Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and welcome back to another one of my videos. And in this video, we are going to be hunting for man of the match, Fellaini or Ocha. Oh, is this said Ocha? Is this said Ocha? I'm not sure exactly how it's said, but it's the Mexican goalkeeper who put in one of the best performances as a goalkeeper in this World Cup so far. And I'm going to give you my breakdown of every game and what I felt happened and, uh, you know, if I liked the games, if I enjoyed them, and what game I thought was the best out of the three games we saw today. So um, with that, real quick before we jump into it, yo, if you guys want to open up packs to try to get mad of the match and you guys need coins, make sure to check out the description down below for footcoinking.com. Use the code AA9 for a 5% discount. And with that being said... Let's try to get a man of the match today in this episode because in yesterday's episode, we didn't pick up a man of the match. Maybe I wanted that Mueller too. But anyways, boys, so Brazil played Mexico, which the Mexican goalkeeper got a man of the match. Russia played um, uh, Korea. And the Russian player got a man of the match. I just smacked the mic. My bad, baby. And Belgium played Algeria. And um, Algeria, excuse me, Belgium won the game and Fellaini got in the man of the match because Fellaini scored the equalizing goal, right? Um, so, uh, I, they, did you guys see my dolphin on Twitter? The dolphin is hashtag the dolphin is real. <laughs> uh, yo, so I don't know if you guys heard about the camel, but I, I made a joke this morning. I was in a call with a couple YouTubers and I was like, hey, did you guys hear about the dolphin? And they were like, what dolphin? I was like, it's like the camel, but it's a dolphin. And then I, I did like a, a picture on, you got to follow me on Twitter and you'll see the picture. Um, but yeah, man, so uh, the dolphin picked Algeria, but the dolphin was wrong. So the camel was wrong too. So it's the same thing, only different. With that being said, uh, the, my, my favorite game today was the Brazil-Mexico game. And that game to me was probably one of the best games of the tournament so far. And a lot of people, when I said that in the call I was in, was kind of like, yo, skills, are you crazy? But I enjoyed that game a lot, man. I thought it was attacking both ways. There wasn't goals, but it was attacking football back and forth. And I'm going to be honest with you, although Brazil had the better, the more shots, and the more shots on target and the the you know the the ultra or however his name is said the manchester uh, excuse me the the mexico keeper had some great saves i think mexico took it to brazil i thought they were attacking them i thought they were quick on on their passing they moved the ball well through the midfield and i thought mexico gave brazil a run for their money man and i think brazil could have lost that game to be honest with you so um, obviously, Thiago Silva had a crazy chance off that header that, uh, you know, was saved right on the line. But Brazil definitely has some good chances. But I think Mexico definitely played a game. And Mexico actually, I want to say this, Mexico is probably the team that is impressing me the most in this World Cup because... Mexico did a very, very bad qualifying, didn't they? They qualified like I think they had to go to a playoff and they just didn't look good. And when you go to a playoff in Mexico, Mexico doesn't really qualify against great nations. So I thought Mexico was very poor qualifying. Herman the German! Uh, they weren't that good qualifying. Uh, but now in the World Cup, man, they played a fantastic game in game one and they played a great game in game two against Brazil. So definitely a good, good Brazil, uh, Mexican side and uh, kind of... Uh, in my opinion, almost a lucky Brazilian side that could have lost points in this game and could have lost points in the first game, too. And I'm kind of rooting for Brazil, although I only really root for Portugal. Uh, you know, I kind of want to see Brazil go far. They're at home. The, the 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 fans are really into it. They're giving us a good World Cup. So I'd like to see Brazil go far. Although Mexico, man, Mexico could have won that group, baby. Uh, but either way, now Mexico could be in a bit of trouble, right? Mexico could be in trouble if Croatia wins their game today. Because you guys will be watching this today. If Croatia wins today. And thanks to get in, Mexico could be in a bit of trouble. But either way, let's move on to the next game. It's Belgium versus Algeria, which was the first game. And, and in my opinion, kind of a boring game. I expected a lot more out of Belgium. I thought Belgium wasn't that good in the beginning. Obviously, Algeria got that penalty. And, um, you know, in my opinion, Belgium just wasn't that great. Oh, excuse me. But... They definitely got it together towards the end of the game. Belgium was probably a team that I was really, I was looking forward to watching them play. And then when they started playing, I was kind of like. Okay, so yeah, kind of a boring game. <laughs> uh, so I wasn't impressed with Belgium. Um, and I definitely wasn't, uh, I was surprised. Russia. Russia actually surprised me big time because Russia was a team coming into the tournament that I was like, you know what? They're going to win their group. They're going to be strong. They're going to be a good team because Russia qualified in, in not a hard group, but, a you know, not an easy group neither. And they topped the group, sent Portugal into a, a playoff. And obviously Portugal was not the best team. We saw what happened to them the other day. But still to, you know, win your group over Portugal, send Portugal to a playoff game. 
you, you must have done something right. And they did something right. They performed very well in the group stages to qualify for the World Cup. So I expected some big things from Russia. And, uh, you know, they, they, they were able to walk out of there with a tie. But wasn't that good of a performance in my opinion so um yeah man two teams on today belgium and russia that kind of like whoa they wake up call i expected more out of them um mexico surprised the hell out of me being i didn't expect much out of them and then whoa you know you got a lot out of them so mexico russia and belgium all surprising uh to me um in, in different ways so let me know in the comments down below what what game you thought was the best game today i'm pretty sure the mexico brazil game was your favorite game today i thought it was probably in the top five for the best games probably top three best games in this world cup so far i enjoyed that game a lot man I'm, i don't know if i'm dumb or something and if i just enjoy dumb football i enjoyed it man i enjoyed seeing them go back and forth i like football that i don't care if there's a lot of goals but i like football that you know Neymar goes down and takes a shot and then right away Dos Santos was on it went right back and took a shot and look at who we get I can thieve talking about that mistake he made in his game huh wow what a mistake but I enjoy football like that man regardless if there's not a lot of goals just back and forth action like Neymar was going down Dos Santos was going down it was back and forth action I enjoy football like that even if there's not a lot of goals so I've really enjoyed this game so I think it's top three performances for this World Cup so far for me um, you, they, they, we'll go back to the Russian game real quick as we talk about Akinfeev. What a mistake that keeper made. An experienced keeper making a mistake like that could have cost his team uh, three points. But luckily, they were able to pull it back. Um, so, yeah, man. Tomorrow, what games do we have tomorrow? Um, how come I can't think? I know Thursday is the England game. What games are on Wednesday? Croatia play today? Damn, I don't even know what games today, baby. But either way, uh, that's how I feel about the games that were today. I need you guys to let me know in the comments down below how you felt about the Brazil-Mexico game, uh, the, the Korea... Russia game and the Belgium Al Algeria game. Who's the team that disappointed you the most so far in this World Cup? And who's the team that impressed you the most? I don't want to say Portugal... Um like like let me down the most because i didn't expect portugal to beat germany so i'm not gonna take i'm not gonna take them as a team that kind of let me down the team that let me down the most i gotta say is probably uruguay i expected more out of uruguay and the team that impressed me the most i guess i'm gonna have to say i, I probably should take costa rica but i'm not i'm gonna say mexico mexico has impressed me in both their games they've looked good um and uh and then my team that's let me down is probably Uruguay. And I could put Portugal there because they did get the willy from Germany. Spain as well got the willy. But Uruguay, I thought, out of any of them, I thought Uruguay should have been the one that got the win. Because Netherlands, good side. Germany, a fantastic side. So Portugal losing the Netherlands, not that big of a deal. Spain losing the Netherlands. Netherlands is a good side, but Costa Rica, I'm not taking nothing away from them, but Uruguay should have beat them. So Uruguay has to be my disappointed team so far. Mexico's got to be my big team so far, the team that's impressed me. Let me know in the comments down below the team that impressed you the most. Maybe Netherlands impressed me the most. Shit, I should have said that. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. You never go back on yourself. You never think. You never go. Don't. Don't. Don't do that. I'm going with Mexico as the team that impressed me the most, and Uruguay, the team that did not impress me at all let me know in the comments down below who impressed you guys i'm gonna open up one more pack real quick try to hit a man of the match and that's how i feel about today's performances you hope you guys are enjoying me just give my opinions on the games and try to hit a man of the match if you guys are still enjoying these men smash that thumbs up i'll put one of these out every single day after all three games where you guys can hear my opinion on football i'm not no football expert i'm not no football genius i'm not i don't know really shit i'm just like anybody else that just sits in front of the tv and watches it so these are just my opinions just the way I watch football, and uh, hopefully you guys, you know, enjoy listening to me talk about it, man. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching Booyah Nation. Please do me a favor and smash the thumbs up as it helps the channel and the Booyah Nation grow. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And it's been your boy, Double A Nine Skills. I'll see you guys later with another video as this last pack opens up, and I get, <clears throat> I get a good goalkeeper to enter. It's a good goalkeeper, Mari. Peace.